This video is brought to you by Taken 2 featuring Liam Neeson from Philippines. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Nate Dog's Pickups. I decided to do two today, and I decided that I have more pickups. So the first one is using Waterwolf's pillow. It's shaped like a hockey puck. This has very good comfort. <coughs> it, again, it's shaped like a hockey puck. Um, I wrote my name on the side, so I know it's mine. <coughs> And, uh, wait, one second. Let me turn down the volume and use it for you so you can hear what I'm saying. So, yeah. I think right here, that's a little pocket. So, say if you're sleeping on this and you got the sniffles, <laughs> and, and you're sick, you can stick, you can stick your Kleenexes in here. So, if your head is on the pillow, and you need to blow your nose, take your hand out, grab your Kleenexes, and blow your nose all ahead. Okay, so enough of that, fellow. Next, we got the Chicago Bull Snapback. See? It's real. I brought it off of loopkarma.ca. And, uh, what is really unique about this is that it says Windy City. <coughs> on this snapback and I think it is a dud snapback because on the rest of oh yeah once again this is a toss of snapback <coughs> and once again um it says windy shitty and that is not normal because on the toss of snapback <coughs> it says windy village and on this one, it doesn't. <coughs> and, uh, I, I, I care a lot about this snapback because my good friend Ricky Martin signed it. <coughs> there, there it is right there. And there it says Windy City again. I, uh, I don't know why they put it there. I don't know why, but they did. There's the Tossel logo. <coughs> I don't know why they named it N-E. Maybe that's for Nate Dog's initials or something. I don't know. But, uh... There are the snaps on it. They're very unique because they're all black. And then on the inside, it says 950 Because they were $950 for this very unique <laughs> app. And right there... It's got the hologram basketball sticker. When you turn it, it changes colors. And once again, there's my good friend Jimi Hendrix's signature. Back when you do come with with his brothers in their foster home. Next, we got the new Polo Ralph. Polo Sport, Ralph Lauren, Polo Shoes, size 10 D. And, uh, these I like to take a lot of care about. I haven't worn them yet. And they come in burgundy color with sort of like a, a muddy white color of the rubber around, as you can tell. And they have a recycled bottom, because Polo is about that clash. So they like to put the rubber recycled products on the bottom. So there's that. There's nothing really special about these that they're recycled. And they're made by Ralph Lauren himself. <laughs> and he shipped them over to Canada. Because I don't know where they came from. Because no one knows where he is. <laughs> For how I know he's out in Vin Laden. <laughs> Next, we got the President's Choice Ketchup Chips. Let me take the clip off. Don't want 
the air getting in there so I don't ruin them. Okay. Oh, song's over. One second. One second. This just takes a second. Gotta wait for it to end. So I can press the, the redo or whatever you call it, restart button. Uh, right there. And if you're wondering, that song is called Pusher Man by uh, Curtis Mayfield. He made it in the 60s. Uh, okay. These are PC President's Choice chips. And there are lo loads of ketchup. I don't, I don't know what that means, but they got a lot of ketchup on them. And it may, uh, it may cause you to have a heart attack. Because the amount of sodium that is in here is like off your rocker. Look at this. Okay. 410 milligrams, 17% sodium, and 20 chips. And according to my calculations, that's a lot. <laughs> so it says in the ingredients in about three or four or five times that sodium is in it. That's a hell of a lot more than we need, don't you think? <laughs> then, look at this. Would you look at that? Look how much ketchup is on that bad boy. It's like he just dipped it in a full bowl of ketchup for about 30 to 45 minutes. That is not, that is not good. You don't need, you know what we need on that? So that's what it looks like now. There, still, it has, it still has way too much ketchup on it. The ketchup products do not need to put that back in there. But they are hella good. Next, we have the Philips MP3 player. To tell the truth, I got this at a thrift store for about four bucks. And I gotta say, it's got... It's got eight gigabytes of memory on it. And it lasts for about 17 days, and then goes dead. And, uh, last time I charged it was about last April. So, see, it's still turning on. That's how good. You see all these, uh, you see all these smartphones, and they only last about four hours. Then you see this bad boy, and it only costs you 20 bucks. And, uh, look how long it lasts. And it holds eight gigabytes. See that? So, I pay 900 bucks for an iPhone 5 when you can go to your local thrift store and buy a Philips MP3 player for 1999. Well, that's brand new. I got it for 499, but that was off sale and it was used and stuff. So it's all good. Okay, next we have a. Uh, Oh, this one, I've been saving those for a while. These things are vintage. Vintage. It's that, it looks like they're Dexter shoes, but really they're not. You open it up. And they're vintage Guitar Hero games. <laughs> PS2. I can't in a zip lock bag because I don't get, I don't want water damage on them. I don't want them to get ruined. Mm. I don't even want to take them out, but you guys mean so much to me that I'll do it. One second, let me open it for you. Use my teeth. There we go, got it opened up. Let me take them out. Excuse me. That's why I shouldn't smoke. We got the uh, dual fab right here. Guitar Hero. You see uh, Hayden Allison on the front. Right there. <laughs> With David Irvin. <laughs> and it says it's rated T for teens. I say it's rated A for adult. Because there is some bad swearing in there. <laughs> and teenagers don't need to be listening to that junk. <laughs> and uh, overall, I think this is a pretty good game. The graphics are hella good. There could be some better songs because to be honest 
I'm sick of all those. Who listens to the fire and the flames? Like, I don't need that. Okay? I hope you see this Activision. Hey, Nate Dog, we're almost going over 10 minutes. You gotta wrap it up quickly. Okay, thanks, dude. Next, we got the Legends of Rock. I don't understand this. Obviously, it's very T for teen because you can see his nipple. <laughs> and it's made by Activision again. And it's basically the same as the dual pack, except there's only one. And it's the Legends of Rock with Slash. <laughs> Do you even know? Who slashes? Like that's ridiculous. And these are the Rock of Eighties. Pretty shitty. I'm not gonna talk about it. That is Aerosmith. Uh uh. Forget what his name is. Stephen Tyler. Uh, wait, one second. My sister's talking. What's his name, honey? Stephen Tyler. Stephen Tyler, <laughs> the main singer of Aerosmith, gave me this dear old game. <laughs> And dedicated it to me. It says that it's dedicated to Nate Dog in the car somewhere, but I don't want to have a look here and read it to you. <laughs> but this dry car is my favorite game ever made. It is amazing. It came with the guitar and everything. But, uh, broke the guitar the first day. It sucks. So I have, I've only played it once. So I don't really know what the game is about and everything. I heard it's about like mafia and stuff, but I'm not sure. I actually heard it's about coke business, but I ain't sure. But uh, yeah, it's for sure being a life. Like, take really good care of these. Also, uh, I've noticed that you guys have been commenting on uh, videos hating about my list. I'm sorry, I can't talk any different. I was born like this with this list. However you say it, I don't understand why they put the letter F. You know, if I can't pronounce it like that, and just the noise, it's just putting it right up my face. Okay, so I'll have these up a bit later because I might pull it out and jam on my PS2 because I can't afford a PS3. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching again, guys. Hope you subscribe and like my videos. If you dislike it, I'll come back and beat your ass someday. <laughs> yeah, hey, Ollie. Alright, thanks for watching, watching, folks. See you again soon. Easy.